such a beautiful gospel. We can reflect about the gospel from different angles. Probably the first thing that I'd like to point out about the gospel is what the last... Everything. And right away gives us a beautiful insight. It speaks about the poverty of a disciple. The poverty of a disciple. But that is not my main point today, my dear brothers and sisters. I'd like that we reflect about the gospel because as I've said, we can reflect about it from different angles, from different perspectives. But I'd like that we reflect about that statement of exasperation coming from the lips of Peter who said to Jesus, Master, we have worked hard all night. And yet we did not catch anything. We have worked hard all night, but we did not catch anything. When I was reflecting about this last night before I went to bed, I was reminded of an old saying that my father used to tell us when we were little children. And this is or not originally from my father. Probably he got it also from somebody else. It says, If at first you do not succeed, try and try again. If at first you don't succeed, try and try again. Do not give up too easily. Persistence or perseverance pays off in the end. This is another way of looking at the gospel or that statement of peter who said master we have worked hard all night i want to give up i want to surrender but the saying says if at first you do not succeed you try and try again and there is another saying that i remember this morning before coming over it says Ang sumusuko Nagwawagi ay hindi sumusuko then When I was taking my shower this morning I remembered a song of Frank Sinatra The seminarians do not probably know Maybe a few, only a few of you would know Frank Sinatra I'm sure brother here knows who Frank Sinatra is He has a song uh, that speaks more or less about the same thing the song goes something like, our benefactors who are watching definitely know the song. Let me try again, let me try again, think of all we have before, let me try once more,
they can also make mistakes. Even deans experience failure. Like everybody else, they too have their share of failures and disappointments. Imagine the Lord affirming Peter. Peter, you are not a failure. Peter, do not think you are a failure. It is normal. It is final. It is okay. It is fine for people to experience failure every now and then. It is actually good for you to fail once in a while. You are not perfect. You are not God. Never say that you are giving up. You are not a coward, Peter. You are not worthless. You are not useless. Why don't you launch out again into the deep and try to lower your nets for a second time? Can you imagine Peter probably whispering something like, Who is this carpenter telling me about fishing? Who is this carpenter teaching me about fishing? Peter must have said to himself, Because a carpenter, all he knows is to build houses. He only knows how to repair tables and chairs. What does he know about fishing? But Peter said, Lord, if you say so, I will lower the nets again. Okay, if you say so, I will catch, cast the nets again. My dear brothers and sisters, there are two kinds of people in this world. Someone said many years ago that there are two kinds of people in this world, the optimist and the pessimist. What is the difference between the optimist and the pessimist? Are you an optimist or are you a pessimist? Both of them contribute something to society. The optimist invented the airplane. The, best, the pessimist invented the parachute. Are you an optimist or are you a pessimist? Some years ago, I came across an insightful book which among other things describes what discouragement is. It says, and I quote, Discouragement is dissatisfaction with the past. It is this state, this taste of the present. And it is distrust of the future. Discouragement is ingratitude for the blessings of yesterday. It is indifference to the opportunities of today and insecurity regarding the strength for tomorrow. Discouragement is impatience with time. It is immaturity of thought. It is impoliteness to God. My dear brothers and sisters, if at first you do not succeed, never give up, never say never, try and try again. Peter said, Master, we have worked hard all night. We did not catch anything. But the Lord said, Peter, just lower your nets again for a catch. And Peter obeyed. Amen.